It is a beautiful Tuesday morning, the 31st day in the month of August. And this is welcoming you about today's edition of newspaper headlines on OSBC. Ilya Wiyo Okebale Oshigo. Yes, I am starting today with the new telegraph. The new telegraph is leading with this story. Nigeria recalls 93 COVID-19 deaths in 24 hours. And the Daily Sun says, confusion over alleged plateau assembly selling. Moving now to the punch. The punch is punching it this morning with this story. Strike. Asu accuses federal government of visit as minister explains payment delay. And the Daily Trust has this story as its banner headline. CJN moves to end forum shopping as lawyers worry over conflicting judgments. And this day has this story as its banner headline. CJN moves to save judiciary, summons justices over conflicting court orders. And the Nigerian Tribune is still leading with the story on court issues, but it's put it this way, conflicting court orders. CJN summons chief judges of Rivers, Kebi, Imu, Anambra, two other states. And the nation has this story as its banner headlines. Mark Panel links PDP crisis to VK seconders. And the Vanguard says, second quarter GDP report, experts kick as federal government defends sensible borrowing. And the blueprint says, at 53%, Nigeria's borrowing sensible, responsible, and credited to the federal government. And the Daily Times, which is the last but not the least, says why non-oil sector GDP is growing. Finance Minister, these are the stories that made it to the front pages of some of the national journalists in Nigeria today. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day ahead.